Hi guys, this is Ranjit and this is actually the second part of the video. In the first part, I was actually invited by Xiaomi India to their headquarters in Bangalore. And in the first part, I interviewed Mr. Anoch. Uh, that's the first part. If you haven't watched that, watch that. Uh, and he actually invited me to test out the new uh, 200 megapixel camera on the Redmi Note uh, 12 Pro Plus smartphone. So in this video, we'll be doing that. And uh, I'm held by Mr. S uh, Sandeep. We took a lot of camera samples uh, so that in varying light kind in fact, I took some difficult shots so that you can get an idea. And what do I feel about the camera performance? So, Ranjit, now that you've tried the Redmi yes. Note 12 Pro Plus 5G and the 200 MP plus OIS camera system, what are your initial impressions on this? I was a little bit uh, skeptical to be very frank, but uh, I like the confidence what Sandeep <laughs> He actually gave me the smartphone and I will show you actually some of the samples. Right. And Intentionally, I actually went out and took some very difficult shots. Right, right. You know the dynamic range and backlit situation. Technically, we shouldn't take photographs like this, <laughs> but I did. And actually, we were looking at some of the photographs yeah. and it came out good. Yeah, yeah. So I think uh, before we dive into the samples, mm -hmm. I think we should probably state the purpose of this, right? Yeah. I think we are doing a lot of, um, you know, R&D, a lot of tuning in India, especially. Uh, and this phone in particular, the yes. Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus 5G, this is something that we're really proud of because we have put a lot of effort into this. And it looks in the human skin tones and everything. There also, I was impressed. Okay, glad to hear that. So I think a lot of hard work has gone into this and glad it's finally paying off. So we also wanted to get an expert's opinion. So you are someone who basically is a connecting link between a consumer as well as a smartphone company, right? So for us, I think that uh, element or that feedback is something we really wanted. So we wanted you to test this out even before we finalize the overall software build to see okay. is there anything that we can even tweak further or improve before it ends up in the hands of consumer. So I think your expert opinion, you've been doing this for years and years, I think over a decade now, I'm, uh, if I'm right. <laughs> so uh, I really wanted uh, you to come on board and test this because I was also really confident. We all are very, very confident on this and glad is working out so let's go through some of the situations yes. now we already saw this on a color calibrated monitor yes. but for everyone's sake we have put it up on two displays here right. uh, not exactly color calibrated but we'll also maybe put the actual sample in the video yeah, so that can actually they can see it right so this first scenario um, you oh, shot it what is I took this and yeah this was a difficult thing because you notice that window okay and it's slightly dull in some areas bright in some areas and generally it gets blown out correct correct yes so here, if you notice the windows, I uh, had the detail and yeah. it was a pretty cloudy conditions kind yeah, of a thing. Yeah. And it even had the details in the areas that are not well lit. So I feel it did actually a pretty, actually good job, yeah. much better than I thought it would. Be. Right. And most smartphones here, they would blow it out. I think yes. it would it would be like white or almost nearing white, right? Most people say night mode is useful only at night mm -hmm. because by virtue of what yeah, is obviously. named. But it just pushes the overall stacking algorithm a bit harder. Okay. So in situations where you need that extra bit of dynamic range, okay. sometimes you can. It's like a life hack of sorts to yeah, get that extra that bit. Yeah, window area. It's yes. The area that we were talking about oh, earlier, it's yeah. even more better defined. better defined right now. Yeah. This was just a very casual shot that I took. Yeah. Uh, and I like the natural depth of focus that came yeah 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 and i i like even the detailing here yeah. on the clock, clock i think it has come that texture, texture is, coming. is coming properly because i think the clock dial has some cloth there the and denim this I or just something picked up and i just shot it shot just it. like that speaking of what what do you I think, think of so because the because of the ois because this yes. one has the ois yes uh, it did help in this situation. what do you think about the shutter speed you're saying like you picked it up and did it fast. Yeah, this was uh, because I was actually suddenly very much worried because it's a 200 megapixel uh, sensor, right? So there might be quite a bit of delay. That was in my head. Hmm. But uh, surprisingly, the delay was not there on this one. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's also one thing we really wanted to avoid um, because I think missed time shots. Yeah, like it, it, that's something we don't want just to happen. Click after a two second, it huh, takes a shot. So, like because in our mind, what we see is what we capture, and if there is a delay between what we are trying to achieve and the camera does, it often becomes the wrong moment. Yes. So we didn't want that. So we have really optimized that uh, entire shutter speed mm -hmm. and avoided any lag whatsoever. And I think so. This uh, uh, camera, I mean, I don't know the optimization or it's the sensor. Hmm. It's getting the white balance right because this, yes, yes, this, this scenario. sample, uh, like there was a lot of mixed lighting. Correct, correct. But yeah. I feel the outcome came actually pretty good. Yes. 
This also. This I got a picture clicked by you. Yeah, you know? this was portrait mode. <laughs> portrait mode, and I the 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 fact that I liked in this the most actually is this part on my shirt, which is going towards the back. Yes, the edit, so edited. even so, this uh, did not get blurred accidentally. Yes, yes. So normally this would just go as a straight line and yeah. cut it off there, but the inside of of the shirt also is actually mapped perfectly well in this. That's what I feel. So edit reduction is good. Yeah. Even the regular shirt that we took without the uh, normal one. Correct. That's also good. Good. Yeah. And this was actually not a macro shot. This is actually a small object. Yeah. But I like again the detail that came out. Again, mixed lighting. There was yellow light. Yeah, light white light. light and correct, all those correct. Things. So I think white balance is something also very tricky. Uh, generally, yeah, you guys have tuned it very well. Yeah, phones balance. tend to go maybe very warm or very yeah. cool when there's mixed light, right? Okay. Because they don't know which light to actually compensate for. Um, this I think is one we wanted to show in terms yeah. of <laughs> detailing, dynamic range, and yes. stuff like that. So I think here. Um, in fact, I think we were showing a few people. Yeah. If you zoom in this zoom much, in, yeah. and it still looks like a separate shot. Yeah, it's because of the resolution that <laughs> resolution you that you have. Yeah, and I like the greens. They're like it's actually like what it was. Generally, some of the smartphones, especially uh, in the mid range, actually they get the greens. I would say sometimes wrong. Wrong. Yeah. 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 I think it's the proximity to the color yellow, green. Yeah. There's often they often get confused between both these colors. When you go to the next image, traditionally nobody should do this because <laughs> it's the photography rule. You are actually doing exactly opposite. Correct. But I wanted to see because problem is that in this difficult situation, my face would have been very dark or like yes. completely. But here I feel yeah. it did actually a pretty decent job. Right, like you don't shoot against the light because obviously your face is then. Um, I mean, the metering everything goes for a toss. Yeah. But what we have done here is very cleverly uh, actually accounted for that, and your face everything is exposed That's perfectly. Possible. And most importantly, the skin tones also right. Even I was not this. expecting this shot to do to actually good. Yeah, so <laughs> glad you liked it. But that's just um, you know some of the things that we have worked upon to improve the overall quality. And so this is a regular shot. That yeah, a person wrote the it. exact same scene, but now you're using the light, light. to yes. your advantage. Yes. And of course, a great shot. But I think we'll go to the next one, which is a portrait shot. Yeah, this is a portrait. So here you can see the same great. Uh, skin tones. Yes, yeah, skin tones. Uh, plus the great edge detection also that uh, yeah, we have. Yeah, the hair actually, particularly yeah. it's actually doing a pretty good job. Yeah. It's not cut out my hair. <laughs> I would say. Yeah, I think for me it's easy. <laughs> the camera can do it very easily with my head of hair or lack of. But again, this uh, again users might not appreciate the shot because again this one I feel the white balance was done well because natural light was coming from this side. This was yellow light. Yeah. I yeah. just took it casually. Yeah. And here also, I think the detail is good. And if you look yeah, progressively, the texture, if you look closely, yes, the yes. Texture. And progressively, if you go towards the left side of the frame, the mm. shallow depth of field without even portrait mode, right? Yeah, this is not. And I think this this shows that exact same thing. This is not the portrait. This mode. This regular, regular mode, shot, yeah. Regular even shot. in this, that shallow depth of field is mm. so good, and that first link of change has yes. come perfectly well. The sharpness is good and good color also. It's not even over sharpening. That's what I liked it. Uh. What happens is that sometimes brands just want to over sharpen them, and it looks very very artificial. There, I want to. Know your feedback because I think most people mm -hmm. uh, they have a misconception that anything that's very sharp is good. Yeah, no. So I think it's a fine line, right? Yeah, if, if I'll tell you. I have started shooting with Sony big cameras and all this thing, and I intentionally drop the sharpness. That's Otherwise, okay. it looks very, very sometimes artificial. artificial. You get uh, it. Uh. Yeah, and especially I, for human subjects. Correct. I also feel the same. Uh, while sharpness is needed, oh, yes. it should be tastefully done. Balanced. Correct. Balanced. Balanced, Balanced. is the right word. Um, some more. Uh, you took the portrait. Uh, sample, yeah. Yeah. Took so the this sample. is without the portrait mode. Yes. And then we also have with the portrait mode enabled. As this. Yeah. So subtly done. Yeah. And you can even like adjust the background blur that later on. Yes. Yes. You can. Process. You can. So you can make it more shallower yeah. or deeper up to you. And I think this I really liked, especially the portrait mode. Ah, uh, this was in Starbucks we took. Yeah. Some natural light coming this portion, and yeah. I like so one that. thing uh, I don't know if you noticed. So this frame here that's behind uh, on your back left. Yeah. This while there is a bokeh, while there's a blur. Yeah. You can still see what it is, right? Yes. So what bokeh? So most people think bokeh is just about completely having, like ha, huh, completely uh, having a glass tinted glass sort of effect and having bokeh balls. But no, no. because you actually need to have some information. Some while at the same time having separation. I think this would be done naturally if you take it with a proper camera also. This is the effect that correct. looks natural. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's what we are trying to go uh, with and overall I think we have been able to achieve. 
Now this, this you took this, yeah. This yeah. is important because particularly this color, hmm. many of the smartphones get this uh, flower color wrong. Yes. So I, uh, I'll be honest, I've also tried it. We tried a few competition devices, compared it with the Note 12 Pro Plus 5G. Mm. In most of them, this is coming out to be a red color. Yes. So, this is a difficult one. Huh, so this is kind of like uh, pink and red in between that uh, magenta sort of color. But uh, that's what the color balance and the white balance, yeah. I would say in a nutshell, has been done pretty well on this one. Right. And even here, there's actually an ant. You can <laughs> yeah. see yeah. cobwebs also here that's and there. 200 megapixels, you can <laughs> zoom in. Yeah. And I think last, this, I really love this, ah, this one is because... If you just zoom in, you yeah. can make it a wallpaper. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. And I think texturing texture here. Is it. So texture is a common theme we try to achieve for both skin tones and even surfaces, right? Okay. Like we spoke about the bricks, we spoke about the uh, clock dial, we spoke about this mural. Yeah. All this has different texture. Yeah. Now, the issue with uh, noise reduction typically is that it... Uh, you know, blotches the entire image, yes, yes. over smoothens it, and you lose the texture. Without the texture, this does not this have the same character. Have yeah. It won't have the character. This, I, I think, I'll make it a wallpaper, <laughs> <laughs> and I this think we, we can put your watermark there, your name there, short on. Uh, but overall, I think um, uh, I'm hoping that you liked it. Yeah. Uh, and even notice the plants at the bottom. Yes, the green. yes, yeah. They look pretty natural. It's not overly saturated or something like that. Correct. And in fact, this I think this image has a lot of colors. You have a yeah. pink, you have a blue, you have a yellow. And this, by the way, it was a pastel color. Yeah. It was not like a, you know, a red or a deep blue, that sort of a thing, which I think many smartphones get wrong. Just like the flower that we showed mm. in the previous picture, um, they typically tend to oversaturate. Mm. So they combine, they like, oh, any, any hint of red, so just boost up the red to the yes, maximum. Yes. So here, if ha that had been done, the blue will be so deep. Yeah, it's not oversaturated. Correct, Overly correct. Done. So that fine line, the uh, balance you got correct. To the balance is what we have tried to ensure on this as well. So yeah, I, I think that was great. Any sort of input that you have other than this? Uh, now we have obviously seen your inputs. You have come, you have seen our labs. You have seen overall how the smartphone performs, and we wanted you to test this in person uh, and just go completely free with it. We didn't want to say that okay, this is you can only do yeah, this. They just took me like okay, shoot anywhere you want. Yeah, yeah. Um, intentionally, I took some of the difficult areas. Uh, <laughs> I, I because honestly... I, because I knew that, okay, generally smartphones don't do good in this. Uh, yeah, I didn't expect you to do the uh, the portrait one against the light. Yeah, yeah. But I, I was still confident, so I like, just do it. Let's, let's no, go so ahead. So that way I would say like, uh, okay, uh, uh, the expectations that I had, your optimization right now are far better than what I had in my mind. Yeah, yeah. Considering it's a fairly new sensor, right? Yeah, yeah. So I think this, uh, what is most important is while we have great hardware, mm -hmm. the 200 MP sensor is amazing on this. It's the software optimization. Yeah, right? even OIS, but uh, the overall optimization that we're doing here, uh, in fact, like I think skin tones, like skin you were touching, tone, yeah. we are doing a lot of optimization to sort of make it better for Indians, right? Okay. Uh, we have beautiful so complexions. all that in-house here? In yes, the, the we have it in-house. Every single day we have a team that works on this okay. constantly improving making it better okay. uh, and I think here we wanted you to come and see the efforts that we are making to make the best camera phones on the market and you actually showed me some of the areas maybe we can't show them but like, yeah, <laughs> yeah that we are not supposed to talk about okay. but uh, <laughs> at least we wanted you to see it okay. so that you can tell your viewers that hey this is uh, something that actually exists hmm. they go through this process each and every time for every smartphone no, I'm, ha I'm happy that you guys are putting a lot of effort in the after image processing and all this because that is what will differentiate maybe this sensor might be in some other smartphones also yeah, yeah. but how well it is is dependent on the optimizations that yes. you are putting in. Thank you, thank you. Glad you feel the same. And I think thanks for the input also. Okay. Uh, we always wanted to get this sort of an input from you. So whatever you have given, we'll also try to incorporate this uh, into the smartphone. So hopefully when the <laughs> user gets it, they'll also be having some sort of input from Geeky Ranjit and then they can say that, okay, <laughs> this has been tuned by the expert. Slightly. Small, small <laughs> yeah. body. But every small bit makes a difference. Yeah. I think that's what we have learned also. Yeah. Uh, we want to give it as much of a capability as possible. Yeah. Uh, even if it's going that extra mile to give that 0.5% improvement, why not? No, the good thing is uh, you guys are putting in so much effort Though this is not a flagship smartphone, that's what I'm liking, even right. in the image processing. Otherwise, like some brands, okay, only in a flagship will put so much effort on the camera. Right. I think, um, honestly, Redmi Note series uh, over the years has been one of the biggest uh, influences okay. in the market. Uh, one of the most important uh, lineups also for Xiaomi. And I think uh, even in terms of the old devices, Note 7 Pro being the okay. first 48, yeah. uh, Note 8 Pro having E64, then 108 on other devices, I think we've always 
uh, try to give the best camera performance even in a Note series device. And in fact, many times, I think if you compare, uh, there are flagships out there which are still doing, say, 48 or whatever. But resolution aside, yeah. if you see the output, I think it's still there. And for us, 200, uh, of course, it is a great resolution. Yeah. But the reason to put 200 was not bragging rights, but rather because it actually gives benefits, mm -hmm. like better dynamic range, more accurate colors. Yeah, I was surprised with some of the... Yeah, yeah, incredible night oh. images. All these are reason enough to give this sensor and OIS combination, 200 MP plus OIS. Yeah. Uh, so that that's what our train of thought was. So it looks like as of now, what types... This is not the final build, of course. Yeah. But it looks very promising from a camera point of view, I would say. Great, great. Happy to here and I think things will only get better so uh, especially with your input thanks for that uh, so thank you so much uh, glad you came here and experienced this we were I think hoping for this to happen multiple times but finally it's happened so thank you thank you for the, thank you Sadeep yes. and like being patient with me and, <laughs> and he just gave me like okay you can just take it and shoot wherever you want <laughs> I think uh, because we have worked on it so hard we have that confidence so we were like just just do it. I think without, if, if I had been apprehensive and said that, you know, please don't try it or just do this. Don't do it. Don't yeah, shoot here, don't shoot then here. it does not have that the same conference. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. And again, stay tuned. Yeah. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.